Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One and welcome to Boots on the Ground. If you have anything you could add, send it to Southern Prepper One, Southern Prepper One at Yahoo.com. Please be aware of the scammers. They might use Southern Prepper One, they might spell it different, they might have like Gmail. Uh, be careful. There's scammers out there. They use my little picture. Let's get right into it. I'd like to make a trip three to four weeks to this discount grocery store in New Hampshire. They sell many odds and ends and also food items uh, and items are about ready to expire or past their expiration date, big packages of food, um, but inventory fluctuates. But I've noticed the store has only about one third to one half of the usual stock of food. Of uh, Now, I asked the employee if recent shipments have been light or uh, what, what's going on and they said no business is up 40 percent from last year so a lot of people are trying to cut their food bill and trying to uh, buy food uh, at any way they can and this is i would consider uh, the salvage food store and that's in new hampshire this person's a emt firefighter uh flu slash COVID cases on the rise. Cases have quadrupled in the last seven days. Hospitals are short staffed and we are directed to take all patients into the waiting room. This is a spreadsheet that these people sent me. I appreciate it. Um, I keep track of home heating costs. I live in New Hampshire. And I purchased this home in November 2020 and basically it goes down to uh, when they bought it not too long ago $2.29 a gallon now they're paying $5.39 as of today um, I have installed a wood stove and insulated a hot water tank plus done some other work to reduce my oil usage uh, I'm all right financially but there's a lot of people on fixed incomes um, and they're worried about them and we all are Australia has offered now to pay for your funeral if you died because you took that. You get some financial aid from the Australian government. Just went to my local store to get milk. All their milk is back ordered or they're, they're out. I live in New Hampshire, a dairy state. Makes no sense. And the store is about 40% out of stock on some, some items. Um, so, on a good note, I paid off a 30-year mortgage in 18 years, made the last payment this morning. God is good. That is great news. You might not be able to pay off your mortgage, but if you can take your smaller bills and knock out bill, it's a great feeling when you can just not have to send someone money for that bill. So even if it's a small credit card, get it knocked out. It will be a morale boost to you. We live in Southern Florida, close to Fort Pierce, and my husband was at our Sam's Club this past Saturday and noticed a couple of giant freezers were completely empty, except for a few cartons of eggs. He was shocked and took a short video of it just to show me. There was no signs as to why the uh, freezers were empty, um, and they looked like they were working fine, and there was no one around to ask. Um, so they're going to go back and just see if they're filled back up with food or what the problem is. Yesterday, a visit from the Sears Warranty Service finally installed a part we were waiting for for over two years for our fridge. The tech said that Sears no longer is going to be selling clothes and they will only sell appliances. I uh, don't know if this is only the Sears in our area or if it's going to be nationwide, and I don't have an answer for that either. I just want to share some good news. My husband and I farm. Our soybeans are fully harvested. We got done with the beans rather quickly we averaged about 68 bushels an acre this is up from last year by five to eight bushels per acre we have started the corn harvest we're averaging about the same as last year um, we converted an old hog nursery into a high, uh, hydroponic greenhouse this year we started getting produce in april and we're still getting crops right now uh, and it's into october uh, we've learned a lot um I would say we're being successful at this. All glory to God, they said. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. Our Aldi's has a large, good-looking pumpkins last week for $3.49. The other chain grocery stores were asking 6 to $8 for a comparable size and quality. Uh, our Aldi stores are trying to keep prices as low as possible. But on the downside, last week, bleach has suddenly jumped from $1.69 to $4.79 a gallon. Uh, I've noticed that bleach has definitely jumped around my area this company is asking the North Carolina Utility Commission to approve a 16% rate increase for consumers over the next three years the biggest increase will be coming next year when it would jump eight and a half percent followed by two increases of nearly four percent for the following two years 
This is from Northeast Georgia. This is a food distribution. I wrote about, I wrote before about the long lines at the food distribution at our local library. This is by far the longest line I have seen. I hope there's enough food for everyone. Also, um, Pay attention because I think some policies are changing on substituting, I think at Walmart, uh, and if you agree to substitute, they could charge you the full price for the substitute. They, this person said also Walmart, uh, trying to get some uh, briefs, some, some son's underwear, um, and they were, I guess, on delay or back ordered. Um, so if you need underwear, socks, get all that stuff. It comes from overseas. Gasoline is $4.79 a gallon. Diesel just shot through the roof at $5.79 at our local farmer's co-op in southeast Washington. I talked to my county emergency director last week, asked him if they were preparing for a possibility of nuclear war. He said they're doing the same nuclear emergency drills recommended by FEMA they've been doing for years. No more, no less, he said. The government is not making any plans to protect the people of the United States. We are on our own when it comes to preparing for a possible World War III. This is from Australia. Uh, this is MK, a reporter there. New Zealand farmers taking to the road to protest the potential burp and fart tax to be levied on New Zealand farmers in the name of climate change. And I reported that like last week. Crazy laws are trying to pass. My local gun store is full with guns, both new and on consignment. No one is really buying. People are selling. Literally every spot on the wall is full. Um, some of the store employees who I'm in good terms with said that there was a small bump because of hunting season, but now it's totally dried up. I'm a teacher. We started a food drive about a week ago. Um, and I guess they've done this before. I'm going to run it all the way to Thanksgiving. I hold one every year and take all the food to the local food bank. Last year, my class was able to collect 250 to 300 items, enough to fill a grocery cart to overflowing. This year, not a single student has brought in anything for donation so far. I'm going to donate what I can, lead by example, but I'm worried for my class and their families. This is not a poor school um, that no one has anything to donate. Speaks to how expensive it is getting out there. I live in southern New Mexico, and I shop at my local Walmart. I usually buy several cans of great value, 12 ounce cans of the luncheon meat, and it's $1.98. I prefer this canned meat over Spam because it's less salty. Today, I noticed that the same luncheon meat was now available in a smaller 7 ounce can for $1.48. I thought it, this was strange and led me to believe this was done to accommodate people on budget pinching pennies. So, the container... Uh, went from basically uh, 16.5 cents to an ounce, and now with the smaller container, it is 21 cents per ounce. So that is a 27% increase over the same amount of meat. I received my six-month auto insurance renewal, and it went up by $400, which is a 29% increase. I called Geico, and the rep told me it was because of labor, parts, and medical going up in my area. Uh, we live about 30 miles southeast of San Antonio, Texas, everyone's insurance is going up a little bit some are worse than others i appreciate what you're doing very much my wife turned me on to your channel i thought i'd feel like i was fairly aware of things previous you show has encouraged me to pay more attention to take further action a couple days ago i bought some sauerkraut at whole foods it was in the refrigerator section i intended to eat some when i got home a few minutes later i opened it only to find the top was all covered with mold and the seal just didn't seem to be right also, just this evening, I went to Walmart and was going to buy some more wa gallon water jugs. They were completely sold out. I bought the flats of a small instead. But I asked an employee about it. He said a lot of water is being shipped to Florida right now. He's hoping more will be in this store soon. This is an update from South Central to PA Baltimore, Maryland region. So obviously, the price of gas has gone up in the past two weeks. Um, is about three dollars and twenty-five cents to three dollars and twenty-nine cents. Uh, they currently are in the range, also in some areas, about three fifty to three eighty and three ninety-nine in Pennsylvania. So it's being raised in the last two weeks. The bottom line is it's gone up in two weeks, twenty-five to seventy-five percent in their area. 
Last year, I bought a set of tires for my SUV. SUV they cost four hundred fifty dollars uh, to be uh, installed and disposed of the old ones. Just called the same place this past weekend and priced the same tires, six hundred seventy five dollars to seven hundred dollars out the door. So that is huge. Went to the grocery store tonight to pick up a few things for the rest of the work week. When I was there, I was price checking some items I stocked for the family. I was in the canned meat section and saw that Sunkissed Tuna is now $1.99 for one of the hockey puck can size ones. I couldn't believe it. Uh, last time I bought it, they were a dollar. Rice went from $11 to $21 for a 20 pound bag. Um, and, and so many, I can't even list them all. Bottom line, no one uh, is building anything back better. This administration is a walking, I will use the word crap show. Goods and services across the board are still rising with no end in sight. Everyone needs to stock up and stack to the rafters. Also, I saw the government said that the Northeast was under a winter blackout warning. And that's because if it gets so cold, they won't have enough electricity. Hopefully, everyone has a generator. Um, so, prepare yourself accordingly if you're in a cold area. Uh, California suffered some rolling blackouts and up north could if it gets really cold. Please remind people that if they have shelves full of food but have neglected their health, there is a good chance sickness will strike long before hunger. Now is the time for all of us to make changes in the direction of our better health. Now, when advised, is available from the doctor, get healthy food, so buy healthy food. Um, they're saying, we went camping last summer and tested a commercial freeze-dried prepper dinner over a small fire. Tasty enough but not much different from the processed foods I usually try to avoid. People need to plan on how to stretch such meals with unprocessed ingredients. Adding greens or vegetables or beans would boost nutrition and feed more people. This is in Texas. Uh, we have been slow in this area to feel the loss of goods, etc. However, I bought groceries a week ago uh, at a big grocery store. We have rarely had any problems. Uh, but there is seems to be an issue with heavy cream and half and half as they've had none a section of the refrigeration appliance area has always been designed to for different sizes of these products I went back today and still no heavy cream or half and half uh, however they seem to have plenty of milk on hand my daughter went to a local store um, and the situation is the same no heavy cream or half and half can anyone shed light on this I don't know if you heard about this, but supposedly Saudi Arabia is attempting to join BRICS. This is a very bad situation that no one is talking about. Uh, yes, many countries are leaving the dollar. They don't need the petrodollar. They're going out uh, and getting joined with other countries uh, to have a currency that is backed by natural resources and gold. So it is going to be a problem for us. It's going to be what kills the United States if people go off the petrodollar and do not need our currency as a reserve currency. This is a new development in Texas. Uh, the basic shopping center for this small town. Shelves that are in uh, several of the aisles are completely bare with lots of holes where food should be. Um, no, they no longer have stocks of real hamburger and hamburger patties. They have some really low end patties that are barely, barely consumable. Uh, also, just a ton of shortages and price increases. Uh, and this is being felt in a lot of places. Everyone's feeling the price increase. If you're not feeling uh, the shortages, be thankful. Uh, more information about the barges being grounded in the uh, Mississippi River and is causing major problems with shipping uh, a lot of our raw materials uh, from the farms to the processing plants. This person purchased a vanity in from Home Depot uh, during a sale late July. There were several delays and problems with the order, so to make the long story short, they ordered it for $7.99. They shipped the first one, it was damaged. Uh, they tried to get charged $8.89 for the replacement one that was shipped, but they agreed to honor the old price. Another unit came, it was damaged, but now the price has gone up from the $7.99 to $9.79. Um, so, a lot of times things are going up in price so if you are working on a project buy that product now and just put it back so when you're ready you have it uh, for a separate project we purchased a 16 foot section of one half by one half pine wood filler piece and it cost us $29 I don't see much affordable housing being built in the future
I met two of my brothers and my niece today for lunch at a local barbecue restaurant. We each ordered a sandwich and a very small side. They ordered water and I ordered a sweet tea. In addition, I ordered a sandwich and a small fry to go for my wife. The bill and tip was a hundred bucks. The food was okay, but I make better any day of the week. Very few people were there. I won't make that mistake again. I could have bought so much more food for $100 and have them enjoy it at my house. I'm guessing they will be out of business in a year. I believe in supporting local owned businesses, but not at the cost of price gouging with average quality food in very small portions. Uh, I do feel sorry for restaurants. They're having a struggle. Um, there's no easy answer. I work at a wastewater treatment plant, which uses quite a bit of electricity, mostly just blowing the air bubbles. Last year, our electric rate was around $3.1 million. This year, we are over $9 million. When you see your uh, sewer bill go up, just know that there's other factors besides raising prices. We use several thousand gallons of chlorine a month also. I work at a furniture store in Waco, Texas, and the business has slowed way down. I would say 40% or more. And they also said get, uh, groceries are going way up in their area. We live in a very small city in New Hampshire, bordering Vermont. These states have the lowest crime rates in the country. Last week, there was a shooting in the parking lot in Walmart. Uh, Out-of-town teens tried to rip off all local drug dealers. Both fled. The shooters were stopped by local police about five miles away due to a witness statement. Um, the other vehicle with the injured drug dealer arrived across the street from our house um, from medical attention at another dealer's house. We had a police outside our house for over 12 hours. Uh, I sta stated to the local cops that we've been having we've been dealing with this type of situation for almost 15 years with no help from the town or police. His response was, oh well, we are here now. A week later, almost all involved in this extended situation are back on the street and right back to their previous behavior. Uh, we openly carry now we openly carry mowing the lawns and when we leave the house many of my neighbors didn't understand why uh despite being informed of the ongoing situation they certainly are starting to grasp reality now because of the direct impact that they felt with this incident i have now i have neighbors requesting information on firearms and training from me this person said maybe you could do a video on using apple pectin red wine and black walnut holes uh, as a substitute for iodine to fight nuclear poisoning or exposure um, they use these things i guess in chernobyl and they had great results um, so if you're interested and you do not have um, any potassium iodine look into this apple pectin red wine and black walnut hole uh, i am not a doctor so contact your doctor before you do or try anything this person said eggs are $7.39 for 18 eggs, almost four times what they used to be. Uh, my mother had to go to uh, the, the emergency room with a very serious medical. She was admitted to the ER, spent two nights in the ER, be, ER because they could not find a room for her uh, because of not enough staff. Um, and they go on with other problems. They couldn't even get simple Gatorade to mix some of their medication. She missed some medication. Uh, just the medical situation is critical. So stay healthy. Do not go to the hospital. Uh, Starbucks had a bunch of shortages. Uh, things that we would order. Brown sugar, pumpkin spice flavors, and other things. The lady actually in the drive-thru told me what they were short before I even ordered. This person said they bought 18 container of eggs and a half a gallon of milk ten dollars and eight cents unbelievable um, this person was gonna buy a jerry can for kerosene it was ninety nine dollars in their cart they delayed one night next day hundred and thirty nine dollars so if you need something please purchase it our home insurance just went up a thousand dollars we're older folks on a fixing some um, my cousin a mile away her rent went up a thousand dollars um, we've lived in a middle-class home that we've owned for 35 years. Uh, so a lot of people are feeling this. I'm going to end it there. A lot of things are happening in this world. You need to stay positive. Uh, you can control your attitude. You can't control the craziness. So stay positive. Just keep prepping and keep praying. Thanks for watching.